I feel like we need a warehouse or at the very least just a bigger garage because this little two-car garage is just not cutting it. Since the skyline is pretty much dead right now, it's just sitting here. We can't move it in and out of the garage. There's so much stuff in the trunk of the skyline. I'm trying to maximize storage in this thing. Still, it's so hard to work on a second car. We got like no room over here and then you come to this side. And you got a little bit more room, but honestly, it's not that much room. I feel like if we had a bigger garage slash warehouse, we can do so many more projects and so many more cool projects that take a long time where cars can just sit for a while and we just have more space to get stuff done. I don't know, it's just a thought. I live in Jersey and winter is coming pretty soon. And when winter comes, we're kind of just cooped up here in the garage. And I don't want to be cooped up in a really tight space. I've been looking into warehouses or like just a little bit bigger garages in the area where I live. It's really hard to find it where house that people allow automotive use in. I'm trying boys. I want to step up the quality of the projects and I think that we'd be able to do that if we had a little bit more space because look at this. Look at this. I'm, I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing between two cars right now. But besides that, what is going on guys? I hope you guys are having a good day. If you guys didn't check out last video, I highly recommend you go ahead and check it out. I'll put it up on the screen. But to give you guys a little recap on the skyline, the motor, the holy grail RV26 is sitting right over here in pieces. My new oil pump is literally just sitting at high take performance I literally just have to go up there and go grab it from him if you guys need any car parts if you guys need anything from Japan hit up high take performance tell him I sent you Eric will hook you guys up but today we are gonna be working on Amanda's 350z <laughs> this thing needs a wash desperately but not only does it need a wash it also needs some new spinny boys I know this fitment over here is to die over but unfortunately we are gonna be getting rid of it so take one last look at it in its prime boys that schmeat won't be there by the end of the day we got Amanda's new wheels sitting right over there now you guys already saw these but I don't think you guys saw them with the tires on here are the rears we got some beefy federal 595s you guys are probably wondering whose wheels are these I'm not gonna tell you but I'll give you a little hint that's all I'm gonna say let's go ahead and slap these beautiful wheels on the 350 brand new tires baby Damn, I'm getting weak. Whoa! Look at that! Look at how much poke, dude! It's not on the floor yet, it's still in the air, but look at the poke! Oh my god! Take a look at this side, and then come over here and take a look at this side. That's crazy. Once the car gets on the ground, I know it's gonna camber in a little bit, but I'm actually kind of worried, like, is this even gonna work? If this doesn't end up cambering itself in and it doesn't work, we're gonna have to roll these fenders a little bit, and also Amanda's just gonna have to drive around with like a stupid amount of camber. Amanda might just become a stancy boy. <laughs> Oh baby, those are some beefy boys. Let's go ahead, lower this thing, and hopefully this fits. Moment of truth, please don't rub. I don't see any rubbing yet. Oh, I think I think we might be all right. When I had the BRZ, I tried to scavenge these wheels for almost an entire year, and I could not find them at a reasonable price. Now, I'm not saying I'm salty that Amanda got them, but I will say that sodium levels are very high right now. Honestly, we can't even lower the back like if you <laughs> That's the quarter panel. That's the quarter panel right there, and then that's the tire. So like, she's definitely gonna have to roll her fenders. That is just absurd. The backs are done, now it's time for the fronts. So you guys ready for this? Look. Ooh, that's so icy. The front needs to go way lower. We have so much room to play. I knew we were gonna have to lower the front, but I figured why lower the front if we can't lower the back. Once we do, go ahead and roll these rears. Then we'll lower the rears as well as the fronts. By the way, this headlight has been catching so much condensation and I just realized why. While I was taking this wheel off, I saw something behind it. Like I saw a little hole that we drilled out and it wasn't sealed up, but I just sealed it up. If you guys are opening your headlights, make sure that you seal every single thing. <laughs> to take this out for a ride around the block and see if the back is rubbing at all like if it's even drivable but let's just go ahead check the oil we haven't driven this car in forever but it's a 350 so you know they just like to leak oil oh actually we're pretty good on oil so it's 11:20 a.m right now so all my neighbors should be awake but 
it's Saturday, so it's a possibility some people could be sleeping in. So to all my neighbors that are just trying to sleep in today, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. <laughs> has some really really tight fitment I don't even know if you guys can see the gap but there's a I can't even stick my finger it's super tight I want to take the car for a spin around the block just to make sure that it's not rubbing like just crazy <laughs> So literally just coming off the driveway it already it already rubbed I can't even stick my finger in at all okay so I mean the good thing is, the good thing is I don't see any marks on the tires. The tires look pretty clean, so. What's funny is I clearly heard rubbing coming down the driveway, and coming down this driveway wasn't even so bad. I'm just trying to find excuses to drive this car, so. Let's just go ahead and drive it anyway. It's a little bit harder to hear the rubbing than I thought it would be. I'm pretty sure I heard rubbing from that side. I think I might just have to jack this car up and kind of hammer in the fenders just a little bit. I'm not gonna roll them, I'm just gonna pinch them up just a teensy tensy bit. So yeah, let's just take this car back. Yep, uh huh. Oh, that is. That is. That is rubbing. I. That, was, that, that is rubbing. Yep. I think I gave her enough sauce and she is ready, hopefully. Oh, okay. That is, oh, that's so much better. It's, re it's really not that much room, but it is definitely better than it was before because now at least I can stick part of my finger in there. Now, by no means is this a permanent solution. This was a very temporary solution. I want her to drive on this height for a little bit. When she gets used to it, then we'll actually roll the fenders. And then we're gonna go ahead and lower the car. Let's go ahead, take this thing out on another test drive and see if it's rubbing. Good news, so far I don't hear any rubbing, but we haven't really hit any major bumps. <laughs> Oh my god, that was barely even a pull, but holy crap did I miss this car. Oh my god. Oh, hold on, let's downshift. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so good. Oh, I missed a loud car. Dude, the Evo was not cutting it. I'm sorry, Blah, but like... That makes me literally so happy. I don't even know if it's rubbing. <laughs> I don't even know if it's rubbing. I wasn't even paying attention to that. <laughs> oh, I want my, I need the Skyline up and running soon. Goddamn boys, that was fun. <laughs> my little brother lets me drive his Evo all the time and it's nice, it's fun, but I hopped in the 350 today and I don't know if I missed it or if it's just a different experience. I'm telling you guys, this car is so damn fun. I love this car so much. What's actually really funny is that you guys are getting the first look at this car. Like Amanda hasn't even, she's never seen these wheels on the car. Never test fitted the wheels or anything. She's at work right now. She's been begging me to send her a picture of what they look like and I just refused to. I wanted to get her reaction on camera for you guys. You guys are getting the first look at this. One of my friends is coming over. I'm gonna help her put on our coilovers and then after that should be right around the time Amanda gets out of work and then when she gets out of work, we're gonna give the 350 a nice little wash. So with that being said, I will catch you guys in a few hours. <laughs> All right, keep your head down. You better not look up. Just keep going. Turn around, turn around. Okay. All right, now walk backwards. Walk backwards? backwards. Yeah, you can look up now. Oh, just, can? yeah, just walk backwards. Amanda still hasn't seen the 350 yet. I parked it far away from my house just so she doesn't see it. <laughs> I actually never seen it. I've been here for like Where? Oh. three hours now. Walk this I way, walk this it. way. The sun is literally about to go down, so it's gonna get dark. So I figured, screw it. We're not gonna clean the car. Instead of cleaning up the car and stuff, we're just gonna go ahead to a park and then uh, I'm gonna reveal the car to Amanda. There, are you excited? I'm so excited. Dude, I, I'm telling you right now, they look pretty sick. I've like, been waiting for this moment forever. Just made it to the spot. Amanda still hasn't seen the car yet. Here, come out. 
but do not look at the car yet. We still haven't washed the car. The car is super dirty. I hope you realize that the car is extremely dirty right now. Okay, so boys, here's one last look at the car. The boys got to see your car before you did. You ready? Yeah. All right, turn around. Look at the car. Oh my God. <laughs> right? It looks crazy, oh God, right? Put my headlights on. But it looks sick, right? Yeah, we did good. We look did good. <laughs> I kind of like the lugs. The lugs, right? The lugs look fire. I w I'm not really the biggest fan of Neochrome, but Neochrome with this looks so damn good. <laughs> yeah, she rubbing, uh, she rubbing a little bit. My nail doesn't even go this way. <laughs> Wait, let me see. <laughs> I can't bend it. Wait, don't get your fingers stuck in there. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I love it. Really? It looks so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really upset we couldn't clean it like we really don't have enough time like you guys like see like the sun's about to go down It's about to get dark. I wasn't gonna be able to show a man in the car like honestly What do you guys think like we, I want your opinions like what do you guys think about this 350? What would you guys do differently? I mean, it's definitely not done, but yeah, I was gonna say this is definitely not done. Oh, yeah, it's not done but god damn <laughs> leave down in the comments what you guys think about the car I want to know what would you guys have done differently what wheels would you have put on have you went kind of stancy Ooh, I kind of like that we are gonna be adding just a itty bitty wood of camber just a little bit <laughs> I'll even take some suggestions too if you guys have any suggestions leave it down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching the videos thank you guys so much for supporting and doing everything you guys do you guys are so freaking awesome you guys don't even know we will catch you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching peace out